you want to be financially free in the next five years? That's a question that sparks thought, isn't it? We're not just talking about being rich or having a luxury lifestyle, but about achieving something greater, financial freedom, the kind of freedom that comes from understanding wealth creation, embracing financial literacy, and building a future where your passive income supports your dreams. This is not about overnight success, but about spotting the signs that you're on the right track. It's about recognizing the habits, attitudes, and strategies that can pave your way to financial success. It might be about valuing time over money, challenging traditional concepts of inflation, or diversifying your income streams. But how can you be sure you're on the right path? How can you distinguish between the wealth secrets of the successful and the noise of the market? That's what we're here for. Drawing from the insights of successful individuals and wealth builders, we're going to explore the 15 signs that indicate you're on your way to becoming a millionaire or even more. So, are you ready to reassess your financial strategies, challenge your habits, and take a step closer to your financial freedom? Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Elite minds understand the importance of time over money. This is to say that money is irrelevant, far from it. Money is a tool, resource that can be used to unlock opportunities and experiences. But the true value lies in how we spend our time, where we dedicate our energy. Time, unlike money, can never be earned back. In the pursuit of financial freedom, it's crucial to shift focus from solely accumulating wealth to maximizing the value of your time. Consider outsourcing tasks that do not bring you joy or fulfillment. Spend hours doing something you dislike when you could be investing that time into something you love something that enriches your life and brings you closer to your goals. In essence, it's about freedom. Freedom to spend your time as you wish, to pursue passions, to create, to learn, to spend time with loved ones, to simply be. Money can buy many things, but it cannot buy more time. When you start to value your time more than your money, you're taking the first step toward financial freedom. If you're already valuing time by watching this video, why not take a second to hit that subscribe button? It's free, just like your time should be. The rich don't rely on a single income stream. It's a truth as old as wealth itself. Financial resilience and wealth creation aren't simply about working more hours in the day. It's about creating diverse avenues of income that can generate wealth for you passively. This could be in the form of investing in stocks, real estate, or even starting a side business that you enjoy and can gradually monetize. Think of it as spreading your financial seeds in various fertile grounds. Each one has the potential to grow into a healthy tree of wealth. This is the secret to financial success that millionaires have been using for ages. And it's not just about accumulating wealth, it's about creating a safety net. If one stream dries up, you can rely on the others to keep you afloat. Diversifying your income sources is like having a team of loyal soldiers each working diligently to fortify your financial fortress. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Because the true measure of wealth is not just how much money you have, but how much freedom it affords you. Your wealth building journey is well underway when you have multiple streams of income. Inflation is not always the enemy. Now, this might seem a bit contrary to what we've been taught about inflation. After all, isn't it the villain that eats away at our purchasing power? Well, yes and no. Inflation is often painted as a monster that devalues our money over time, and that's not entirely incorrect. However, it's crucial to understand that inflation isn't inherently evil. It's a natural economic phenomenon that reflects the changing dynamics of an economy. The challenge lies in how we respond to inflation, especially when it comes to significant expenses like housing. It's about adopting strategies that protect our purchasing power. This could mean investing in assets that offer inflation-beating returns or focusing on wealth creation that outpaces inflation. So let's challenge the traditional fear of inflation. Let's instead focus on understanding it, questioning it, and strategizing around it. Because when it comes to building wealth, knowledge is your most valuable asset. Understanding inflation is a sign of your growing financial literacy. 
It's a testament to your evolving understanding of the financial world. A world that's as complex as it is fascinating. And remember, in this journey towards financial freedom, every bit of wisdom counts. Cryptocurrencies are more than just a trend. They're an innovation that's reshaping the financial landscape. Two of the most prominent cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin and Ethereum. These digital currencies are built on blockchain technology, a decentralized system that provides transparency and security, making them immune to government control or manipulation. Bitcoin, the first of its kind, has become a digital gold standard, while Ethereum has brought smart contracts into the mix, opening up a world of decentralized applications. These cryptocurrencies aren't just trendy, they carry significant value propositions. They offer a potential hedge against inflation, and they're paving the way for an entirely new economy. It's not just about jumping on the bandwagon. It's about understanding the potential of these digital assets. Embracing the digital currency revolution is a sign of your forward-thinking financial mindset. And if you're enjoying this crypto crash course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free, unlike Bitcoin, so you can save your coins for the crypto market. Wealth creation isn't a gamble, it's a strategy. The cornerstone of this strategy is investing wisely. This is more than just throwing money at the latest hot stock. It's about making calculated decisions and putting your money to work in various asset classes. From stocks and bonds to real estate and digital currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, each investment has its own unique potential for growth. The key to successful investing is having a clear allocation strategy. This means not putting all your eggs in one basket, but spreading them out across different investments. It's about balancing risk and reward, understanding market trends, and being patient. Remember, wealth building isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Investing wisely also involves staying informed. This means keeping an eye on the financial markets, understanding global economic trends, and constantly learning and adapting. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Your journey to financial freedom accelerates when you invest your money wisely. Not all risks are created equal. This statement rings true when we delve into the concept of asymmetric risk. Asymmetric risk, in the world of finance, is a situation where the potential gain from a financial decision significantly outweighs the potential loss. Think of it like this. You're planting seeds in a garden. The seeds are inexpensive, but if they grow, they can yield valuable crops. That's a small financial risk with a potentially high return. This concept is a key player in the game of wealth building, where the goal is not merely to amass wealth, but to grow it strategically. By understanding and harnessing asymmetric risk, you can make financial decisions that have a small downside, but a significant upside. This approach can lead to exponential growth in your wealth over time. This isn't about reckless gambling, it's about calculated risks. It's about understanding the potential outcomes of your financial decisions and strategically choosing those with the best risk-reward balance. When you grasp asymmetric risk, you're not just playing the game, you're playing it wisely. Understanding asymmetric risk is a sign of your strategic investment approach. Financial success isn't a game of chance, it's a strategic process, a calculated journey. We're not talking rolling the dice here, but about making conscious, informed decisions. There's a stark difference between investing and gambling. While both can involve risk, the former is about growing your wealth over time, the latter a game of chance with a high probability of loss. Avoiding speculative investments is key to financial discipline. Speculative investments are like a mirage, promising quick riches but often leading to substantial losses. They are a gamble, not a calculated risk. They can be alluring with their promise of instant wealth. But remember, true wealth creation is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not about chasing the quick buck, but nurturing your wealth, allowing it to grow steadily over time. It's about understanding the market, making informed decisions based on research and analysis, not on a hunch or a tip. It's about patience, discipline and consistency, about seeing the bigger picture and playing the long game. So the next time you're tempted to gamble, remember, Financial success isn't a game of chance. Steering clear of gambling is a sign of your financial mindset. And while we're on the topic of sound decisions, remember, subscribing to our channel is a sure bet, unlike gambling your way to financial success. So why risk it? 
Be like the savvy investor and hit that subscribe button now for more financial wisdom. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. This old adage rings true, especially when it comes to your financial strategy. Diversifying your investments is a wise move, one that can greatly enhance your financial resilience. Imagine your portfolio as a vibrant, thriving ecosystem, teeming with a variety of different species, each one playing a crucial role. Each type of investment, be it stocks, bonds, real estate, or digital currencies, represents a different species within this ecosystem. When you spread your investments across these various asset classes, you're not just creating variety. You're building a buffer against the unexpected. It's a bit like having an insurance policy against market volatility. If one part of your portfolio takes a hit, the other parts can help absorb the blow. But diversification isn't just about risk management, it's also about potential gains. Different assets perform well under different economic conditions. By diversifying, you give yourself the chance to benefit from various market trends. Remember, diversification isn't about chasing the next big thing. It's about balance and long-term perspective. It's about creating a portfolio that can weather storms and seize opportunities. A diversified portfolio is a sign of your well-balanced wealth building strategy. Knowledge is the real wealth. An old saying, yet it rings true, especially when it comes to financial success. The world of finance is ever evolving with new concepts, strategies, and tools emerging all the time. To navigate this landscape successfully, staying informed is crucial. Imagine a sailor setting off on a voyage without a compass, a map, or any understanding of the sea. Sounds risky, doesn't it? This is what embarking on your financial journey without proper knowledge equates to. Reading finance books is akin to arming yourself with that compass and map. Whether it's understanding the basics of stock markets, getting to grips with cryptocurrency, or learning about the role of inflation in the economy, continuous financial education is a sign of commitment to your financial growth. It's about more than just learning wealth secrets or tips for wealth creation. It's about developing a deep and nuanced understanding of how money works and how you can make it work for you. In the quest for financial freedom, remember that becoming rich isn't merely about accumulating wealth. It's about acquiring the knowledge to manage and grow that wealth sustainably. So whether you're an aspiring millionaire or someone seeking to build passive income, take a moment to delve into a good finance book. It could be the most profitable time you ever spend. Your commitment to financial literacy is a sign of your road to financial freedom. Free money isn't always free. When politicians talk about stimulus packages or quantitative easing, it might sound like free money, but there's often more to the story. These government financial policies can stimulate the economy during a downturn, but they also have implications. For example, quantitative easing can lead to inflation, decreasing the purchasing power of your hard-earned money. And stimulus packages? They're generally funded by government debt, which could lead to higher taxes down the line. It's crucial to understand these macroeconomic factors and their potential impact on your personal finances. Recognizing the true cost of free money in political discourse shows that you're not just financially literate, but also economically savvy. Understanding macroeconomic factors is a sign of your deep financial awareness. Debt is a global reality, not just a personal one. As we move through the 21st century, the world is grappling with an enormous and frankly unsustainable debt load. It's not just individual countries, it's the international community as a whole. Countries are borrowing from each other, creating a complex web of debt that's difficult to untangle. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter to me? Well, this global debt affects the economy, which in turn impacts your personal finances. When governments borrow excessively, they might have to increase taxes or cut public services to repay the debt. This could affect your lifestyle and your investment portfolio. In addition, when a country's debt becomes too high, it could lead to financial crises, like what happened in Greece a few years back. It's not a pretty scenario. So it's important to keep an eye on these macroeconomic factors. It's about understanding the bigger picture and how it can potentially affect your personal wealth. Acknowledging the reality of global debt is a sign of your grounded financial perspective. History often repeats itself, especially in finance. By studying financial history, 
we gain perspective on significant economic events and their impacts. Remember the Wall Street crash of 29? That catastrophic event led to the Great Depression, affecting not just the United States, but the entire world. Or consider the dot-com bubble at the turn of the millennium. Investors were so entranced by the potential of the internet that they overlooked the absence of solid business models, leading to a dramatic market crash. And who could forget the housing bubble and subsequent financial crisis of 2008? These historical events teach us invaluable lessons about market dynamics, risk management, and the importance of sustainable growth. Looking back helps us understand the present and anticipate the future guiding our financial decisions. So, delve into financial history. Learn from the past. It's a sign of your informed financial decision-making. Money management isn't just about numbers, it's about emotions too. Our emotions can significantly impact our financial decisions, often in ways we may not even realize. Let's take the stock market, for instance. It's a roller coaster of highs and lows, and it's easy to get swept up in the thrill of potential gains or the fear of possible losses. This emotional roller coaster can lead to impulsive decisions that might not align with our long term financial goals. Have you ever found yourself making a purchase just because it was on sale, even though you didn't need it? That's your emotions influencing your spending habits. Or perhaps you felt a pang of regret after missing out on an investment opportunity. That's what we call FOMO, or fear of missing out. Recognizing these emotional influences is key to maintaining a balanced approach to money management. It's about being aware of our feelings, understanding how they affect our financial decisions, and learning to control them. It's about making rational decisions based on facts and figures, not feelings. Understanding financial psychology is a sign of your rational approach to money management. It's a crucial step towards achieving financial freedom and wealth creation. Luxury isn't always a sign of wealth. It's a common misconception that the more lavish your lifestyle, the wealthier you are. But let's dig a little deeper. The allure of luxury items, the glitz and glamour of high-end brands and sports cars can be intoxicating. But these extravagant purchases are often more about status than actual wealth. The truly wealthy understand the value of money and make practical choices. They might drive a modest car, live in a comfortable but not overly lavish home, and prioritize experiences over things. They don't need to flaunt their wealth with material possessions, because their wealth is not just about money, it's about the freedom and security that money provides. Choosing a minimalist approach to finances does not mean living a life of deprivation. It means making conscious decisions about what truly brings value to your life and what does not. It's about understanding that the most precious things in life aren't things at all. Rejecting extravagant materialism is a sign of your mature financial mindset. It signifies a shift from seeking external validation to finding internal satisfaction and peace. It's not about renouncing all luxuries, but rather choosing those that truly enhance your life and letting go of the rest. So, the next time you're tempted by that shiny new toy, ask yourself, is this a need or a want? Your answer might surprise you. The true purpose of wealth is to make a positive difference. So let's talk about how the money you've accumulated can be used for the greater good. This isn't about philanthropy as a status symbol but about redirecting resources towards helping others and supporting causes that matter to you beyond personal gain. When you use your wealth to create positive change, you're not just building a legacy, you're also redefining what it means to be rich. It's about understanding that the true value of money extends beyond material possessions and personal comfort. It is about making a difference in the lives of others, whether that's through charitable donations, impact investing, or supporting social enterprises. The decisions you make about your money can have far-reaching effects, and the opportunity to use those resources for good is a privilege. It's a sign of a philanthropic mindset, a broader understanding of money's potential impact, and ultimately, financial freedom. Using money for a greater good is a sign of your broader understanding of money's potential impact. Financial freedom is more than just being rich. It's about achieving a luxury lifestyle on your own terms. It's about building wealth through multiple income streams, challenging traditional concepts of inflation, understanding the basics of cryptocurrency, and investing wisely. It's about grasping asymmetric risk, 
avoiding gambling, diversifying your investments, and staying informed through reading finance books. It's about recognizing free money in political discourse, being realistic about global debt, studying financial history, and understanding financial psychology. It's about shunning extravagant materialism and using your wealth for the greater good. These are the signs that you're on the path to financial freedom. These are the secrets to wealth creation, the markers of financial success, and the steps towards becoming a millionaire. Remember, the journey to financial freedom starts with a single step. What's yours going to be? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into wealth building and financial success.